everyone, welcome to High School Dropouts Advice. Today I want to show you how to research a new potential upcoming trend and find the right potential stock for your portfolio. We all know that the Biden administration wants greener energy, so let us look at how the energy distribution looks like in the United States. We can see that the brown column is renewable. This is what President Biden wants to increase. We see a big part are coal in light blue and other non-renewables in dark blue, making a 60% in energy distribution. And we see a yellow bar which is nuclear can play a key role in helping us speed up to gain more greener energy. As you can see, nuclear energy plays a 20% role in our energy production and could be increased to reduce coal and non-renewable energy consumption and in fact we see that President Biden has include nuclear energy in his energy plan so let us check how many uranium mines there are in the United States when I saw abundant mines I thought this might not be a profitable sector or the US might not have enough resources because we know that the United States is the largest uranium consumer so let us dive deeper into this thought and continue our research. I found this. Australia has the largest uranium resources followed by Kazakhstan, Canada and Russia. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Research and videos like this take a long time to do and it would help me out tremendously if you subscribe to my channel and help me grow. So then let us check which country is the biggest supplier. We see that Kazakhstan is by far the biggest supplier and we can see a declining trend in in Canada and a stable trend in Australia. So let's dive a little deeper and check which companies are the largest. We see that Oreno and Cameco are Canadian companies. I tried to find out more about Oreno but I think it's not publicly traded. Cameco is trading under CCJ as you can see here. When I check their stock profile I noticed that they had a nice rally after revealing the Biden administration's greener energy plan. But I also see that they have a negative EPS, earning per share. So I thought this had something to do with the declining production overall in Canada. So I did not continue my research here because the uranium price can play a key role here and other mining companies in other countries can be more profitable. So let me pull up the uranium price and you can see that they cost around $29 per pound. We can also see that the uranium price had plunged to $20.85 three years ago when Canada's uranium production abruptly changed. So it would not surprise me that uranium price plays a key role here. I also read this. New plants being built in China, South Africa, India, Russia, Belarus, the United Arab Emirates and Poland will ensure global uranium demand continue to grow. This is good news for Canadian uranium mining companies. We also read if prices stay below 50 per pound, EDOT production won't come back online and new mines won't get built. This applies to US mines. It would not be profitable for the United States to get back into mining uranium when the price is below 50, which it is at the moment. We have some good news for CCJ, but at this point, I would wait for the clearer direction of the US government before I invest in CCJ. If the company had positive earnings per share and stronger fundamentals, I would look deeper into it. But I found another company with strong fundamentals and could get a nice boost from the uranium trend if it becomes reality. This company is called BWX Technologies and trades under BWXT. It still trades below its pre-pandemic rate and it could be a bargain because the energy sector and defense sector did not get affected by the pandemic. BWXT is working closely with the US government regarding of supplier of nuclear components and fuel. They also support the government with technical and management services in the operation of complex facilities and environmental remediation activities and supply precision manufactured components 
services and fuel for the commercial nuclear power industry. So this is a company that fits perfectly into the nuclear energy plan if the Biden administration decides to take this route. We also see stable and a little over expectations results from their last earning release. So BWXT is a fundamentally strong company with the potential to get a boost with the current administration and on top you get 1.32 in dividends. So, Please remember, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just a guy on YouTube. Your money is your responsibility. By the way, if you have no brokerage account or you need a second brokerage account to buy stocks, I can recommend you Webull, where you can get two free stocks up to $1,850 when you deposit at least $100. You can find the link to register below in the description. If you like my video, please give me a like and share the videos with your loved ones. Then subscribe because you don't want to miss any other exciting stock and investment opportunity. Many thanks. See you hopefully in the next video. Thank you. Bye.